All right, I have finally gotten around to designing a canal lock. It works, I think, and it took way too much time for me to make this. But observe the following. Here's a lever. You want to get in? You can get in. You want to get up? You have to turn around the boat. You have to be a, a little careful about not getting your boat caught on these ladders. It's kind of stupid, but it's the best I can do. And then this happens. <laughs> and then you're on your way. If you're coming back the other direction, you can do the same thing, but with this lever. You can also flick the lever and then really quickly get into the canal lock. And then it just goes and works for you. The idea here is that I don't want water just pouring over the sides all the time. So I have these pistons here, which block off the top canal when the bottom is open. And these pistons here, which block off the bottom canal when the top is open. Now, because uh, this block is always full of water, I don't need pistons for right here. Because I don't really need to cut that off for any reason. But... If you flick the switch, it fills with water, and also it shoves in a bunch of soul sand. Now what the soul sand does is it creates bubbles which elevate your boat from being in the water to being above the water. Without the soul sand, the boat would remain at the bottom of the canal and you would have just sunk your boat. What these ladders do at the top here is it prevents the boat from rocking violently once you've reached the top. If, for example, you had a condition where you had your boat and the ladders were not here, it would work, but then this would happen. And that's just annoying. So I have the ladders there to basically prevent any funny business. And that's basically that, yeah. Now... I wanted to make sure that, at ground level, supposing this was all blocked off and you didn't see anything down there, it wouldn't actually take up all that much room. All of the logic is below, like, theoretically, this canal down here, this is ground level. So this canal would be at, well, roughly, where the ground would be. So the grass would be up here, and then this would be the ground. So down here is two blocks below the ground, and everything really kind of gets shoved into this area down here. Now, I'm not going to get into this logic. You can look at it and not understand any of it, because I wouldn't understand it if I was just shown this in a video. I'd be like, yeah, that's some cool redstone you got there, and then have no idea what any of it does. I might make a video in the future where I actually explain everything, but, as of right now, I don't feel like doing that. Also, you want to see something hilarious? So you think, oh yeah, this is a lot of redstone doing a lot of work. There's even more. There's this circuit down here. And if you're wondering what this does, this is in charge of taking the two completely different levers and making sure that if they're both on, the resulting signal is actually off. This is a XOR gate. And it makes sure that if both of the inputs are on, that the resulting signal is off. And what this does is, I can't believe I'm actually explaining this. What this does is it takes that signal and it sends it where it needs to go. And then this is another XOR gate. And what this one actually does is it takes the same signal twice, but one of them is slightly delayed. And as a result, it provides a pulse signal. It's on very briefly and then turns right off. And the pulse signal is what powers the, the dispensers in here. These dispensers run on that pulse signal. And as a result of that, they are able to, every time you flick the switch, either on or off, it's able to activate the dispenser. So it either sucks up water or it dispenses water. Uh... All of the signals that carry vertically out of the ground to all of the other stuff up here 
Uh, all of that is maintained using redstone torches. The reason I do that is because it's very condensed. It doesn't take up a lot of room, and you can go straight from out of the ground where you can... Basically, once you're in the ground, you have as much room as you need because you don't see any of it. Uh, and then all of this stuff can be put into relatively small building-like structures, which you can cover over if you want to. The hardest thing to cover over would be this redstone circuitry here connecting to the levers, but I think I can live with that for my purposes. Uh, this is an adaptation of another canal video. If I'm uploading this video that I'm making right now to YouTube, I will link that into the description. And that's how I got the idea of using both ladders and using soul sand. So thank you to that video. I'm not entirely sure that they used it in the same way I'm using it, but I don't really care because this works, and that's all I really care about. As you can see, there's a bunch of failed projects of trying to do the same thing. Yeah, I might do a building tutorial. But yeah, thank you for watching this. I have no idea where I'm going to upload this uh, video. It's too long for Twitter. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, I'll just put it on uh, my second channel. As a small addendum, I'm pretty sure I'm one of the few people who play Minecraft who actually care about canals. Uh, but if you care about canals and you like getting stuff from point A to point B with canals, and not with stupid, idiotic minecarts, which suck and are horrible, then, uh, <laughs> leave a like. <laughs> Have a good day.